Hello, here we are in the month of December. Can you believe 2023 is over? I'll go first. No, I can't. Over the last year, we've talked about all of our favorite movies, concerts, restaurants, and even shoes that I wore that felt like we were walking on clouds. Those were nice. This month, some of the holidays we're highlighting are pretty much the ones you'd expect. For instance, December 4th, I'll bet you didn't know this, is National Cookie Day. Now, I'm a cake girl, but I do love a good cookie if it tastes like cake. My assistant, Shelby, she knows me very well, bought one of my favorites from Levon Bakery. Come on in, Shelby, say hi to the people. Shelby, you know Shelby. These are my favorite, what are they? Oatmeal raisin. Oatmeal raisin, put them in the microwave, nuke them for seven to eight seconds. They're crunchy and chewy and they are delicious. I won't eat on camera because it's not pretty. December 25th, you know, is Christmas Day. Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh my God! I know him. It falls on a Monday this year, Monday. I've been stacking up gifts for my family all year, including, of course, favorite grandson, Luca, he's two. We'll be bringing in New Year's Eve on Sunday, the 31st. So it's time for all of us to start thinking about your new resolutions for 2024. I'm still thinking. So let's get right to it. This is our list for December, the last month of 2023. Here we are. Welcome to the world, according to Gail. Nobody sounds like her, and you know, of course, who that is. Great musical lyricist, Beyonce, Giselle, Knowles, Carter. Thank you very much. One said this, it's not the diamonds, it's not the pearls. I'm that girl. Remember when she wore this? If you didn't make it to Club Renaissance this summer, you'll have another chance to see it starting December 1st. It's called Renaissance, a film by Beyonce. It's an up close and very personal look at her creative process. I have nothing to prove to anyone at this point. We are creating our own world. I cannot wait to go. Seriously, cannot wait. Queen Bee is starring, directing, and producing the film. It takes you behind the scenes of her record-breaking tour that pulled in nearly, listen to this number, $580 million and still climbing. I recently sat down with Beyonce's husband, that of course is Jay-Z, on CBS Mornings. Yes, it's your favorite morning show. Yeah, I said it. He said that it's her best tour and the one that has felt the most complete to him. He knows things. So get your silver metallics ready so we can all go and we can all cheer on all hail the queen. Anybody who knows me, and by now, don't you feel you know me? I love a good burger. It could be at a fancy place, it could be at a dive, it could be in somebody's backyard. I just love me a good burger. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? So here in New York City, there's a new burger place that is all the rave. It's called, very catchy title, Hamburger America. So we had to go and give it a try. So I brought my nephew Cameron and assistant Shelby. Hi, George. Hello. I, I, good to see you again. How are you doing? Good to see you. I, I, hear, I hear this is where we come for a good burger. Well. That's the rumor about you. We'll see. George. Yes. Do you, do you think you like burgers as much as I do? People always say to me, what would be your last meal? And I said, a good cheeseburger and great fries. Do you think you like it as much as I do? I, I think so, yeah. I, maybe what? not, actually. I, I, I know about <laughs> you your burger remember, history. Yes, yes, yes. You have loved burgers for a very okay. long time. Why do we like them so much? <laughs> because they're good. It's hot, sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's salty. I mean, it, it had, it's a savory, sweet event, it's and it satisfies everything in one bite. We're gonna get two fried onions, one classic smash all the way, order fries, it says one size fits all. George, oh my Good, God. Good, you like it? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And I mean, there's no, it's Juicy, there's, it's the meat, you can taste the cheese. Yeah. The bread is soft, I love a soft bun. This is very high quality beef. We use very high, because there's only only a few ingredients in there, everything is very high quality. This is some of the best quality beef you can buy. Well done, George, well done. Thanks, Kim. That burger was 10 out of 10, and here's how it works. Two burgers will always be on the menu, and a third will be cooked by local chefs flown in from across the country. I like the idea of that. George, he's what you would call a hamburger connoisseur. I thought I was a hamburger connoisseur, but this guy has got me beat. He's written books, he's created a documentary, he hosts a YouTube show, and he's even taught a course on hamburgers at NYU. Do you know anybody who's done that? No, you don't. So if you're visiting New York, make sure you stop it, and you can tell them. Gail sent you, Shelby sent you, and nephew Cameron sent you too. Another one of my faves, Alicia Keys. She's got a new musical, it's called Hell's Kitchen. 
I guarantee you it's one you don't want to miss. I happened to be invited to the premiere in New York and I went. With nephew Cameron again, we had a great time. Inspired by her own experience, the musical tells the coming of age story of a young woman living in New York City. Her name is Allie. She's 17 years old. She fights to chase her dreams while her mother tries to protect her from making the same mistakes she once did as a young girl. All of the music and the lyrics have been written by Keys herself and features renditions of her popular hits like If I Ain't Got You, you know that one, and Empire State of Mind. That's the closer. It had everybody on their feet. It was great. You can catch Hell's Kitchen at the Public Theater right here in New York City. <laughs> Cher is taking on the holidays, so you know she's got Yule Babe. See what I did there? Was that you, Janelle? <laughs> Come on up, Janelle. I thought that was very catchy instead of... She's got you, babe, what'd you say? She's got you, babe. Isn't that good? Very good, Janelle, very good. The 77-year-old music icon is releasing her first holiday and 27th studio album. It features 13 songs with classics like Santa Baby, I like that, and Run Run Rudolph, and features a few special guests like Michael Buble, Stevie Wonder, and Darlene Love. They've got history, by the way. Cher sang backup on Darlene's Christmas classic, Baby Please Come Home, and now she's joining her on the album. See, it's sort of a full circle there, that's nice. She just performed her first single, DJ, Play a Christmas Song, at the Thanksgiving Day Parade. It went very well. DJ, Shara's Christmas album is out right now, wherever you like to buy your music. Well, I got myself another job. I didn't think I had enough to do. In addition to being editor at large here at OprahDaily.com, my co-hosting job on CBS Mornings, it's a radio show called Gail in the House, that's on Sirius XM. You know, I just like to stay booked and busy, as the kids say. So now I got another show coming out with the one and only Charles Barkley. It's called King Charles, get it? Gail King, Charles Barkley. It's premiering on CNN. I recently sat down with my new co-host to get to know him a little better. You know, it's sort of like getting to know you, getting to know all about you. So we're calling this segment, The World According to Charles. So here's a getting to know Charles Barkley. What would be your favorite meal of all time? You could only pick one, what would it be? Probably fried chicken. Fried chicken, yeah. mine, mine would be a cheeseburger. You can't eat a cheeseburger in a girl. What do you mean? Like, who's cooking a cheeseburger? Well, I'm going someplace because I okay. don't cook. Okay, okay. Cheeseburger, Wait, fries. you don't cook? No. That's so sad. Do you cook? No. <laughs> well, then why is it sad? I'm a man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't mean in America. Who do you admire, Charles? That's a great question. My all-time hero is uh, Muhammad Ali, rest in peace. He's somebody I really admire and respect. I really admire LeBron James. Yeah. You know, for what he's accomplished, from 18 years of age to now, it's pretty remarkable. What is the music you listen to that gets you going? Well, I used to listen to a lot of rap on my way to the game just to get the juices going. And going. But for some reason now, I'm into country music. Me too. Yeah, uh, like my favorite I, group right now is probably Dan and Shay. Oh, yes, me too. Yeah, I love Dan Those and Those guys Shay. are great. They are unbelievable. I was like, We Dan, should have them on. We're going to do good. We're going to have some country music stars on our show. <laughs> yeah. He is so much fun. I can't wait. You can watch us both on King Charles every Wednesday night on CNN. We all know that Oprah has her favorite things. Well, one of my favorite things coming out this month, here's a hint, wearing purple. Look, Oprah has appeared. Who's holding Oprah? Oh, it's Shelby. Shelby's here holding the Oprah poster. This is our cover, by the way. We even have in our Oprah favorite things, we have a whole section on purple stuff. What are we talking about? It's the new, the color purple, the movie. I come here out of respect. But if there ain't nothing to get, that show ain't nothing to get. It's a reimagining and a musical adaptation of the original film, and it's heading to the theaters on Christmas Day. Here's a fun fact. Did you happen to know that I was an extra in the original movie? You can find me in the pews of the church when Oprah, who plays Sophia, gets married to Harpo. Yep, that's me right there. If you blink or yawn or cough, you'll miss me, so pay attention. Well, in addition to the film, there's a new album. It's set to come out on December 15th. It features songs from some of the movie stars like Taraji P. Henson, Daniel Brooks, Corey Hawkins, and Coleman Domingo. Some other features include Megan Thee Stallion, Black Thought, Missy Elliott, Usher, and Jennifer Hudson, so you know it's gonna be good. Get your purple, bring all your family and friends to the theaters on Christmas Day. When is Christmas Day? December 25th.
And that, you guys, is the list for December and for 2023. But I have to tell you this, right before we started shooting this, I don't know how they did it because I think I'm pretty good on picking up um, surprises. The crew here at OprahDaily.com surprised me because my birthday is December 28th. So guess what they did? Roll tape. Okay, Chrissy, are you there? I'm Here's here. John! They said I was going to be talking to Chrissy from Ohio. Hi, John Legend. Well, I am from Ohio. and What are you doing? It's time to celebrate our birthday together. Yes. And I called to wish you happy birthday. I can't, John, I can't <laughs> believe it. That's good, guys. That's good. Because I'm waiting for Chrissy from Ohio to talk about Oprah Daily and our suggestions. John, that's so happy nice of you. birthday, birthday to, to you. Uh, Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. us. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear John. John. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that's so nice. I'm Happy swooning. birthday they to you. you. <laughs> John, that is so nice. I was wondering why so many people were here. <laughs> For all these people who aren't here, I thought, oh, they just want to see this taping. Now I know they just wanted to see you, John Legend. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My that pleasure. Was a, Great to that see you. So are we really not talking to people? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so good. Bye, John. Thank you. Yep, John Legend and I have the same birthday, December 28th. That was very nice of him to do, because you know he is very booked and busy. Thank you, John. Next month, we're bringing in 2024. Have a wonderful holiday season, and guess what? I love saying this. We'll see you next year, as I say at the end of every Zoom Zoom, leaving meeting. Click.